Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you my newest and latest project that I just worked on. And this is it. What do you think of this? This is a soap dispenser slash lotion dispenser jar. And I made this. I made this. And then I also made this one. This one, and they both have artificial flowers in it. I was going to put real flowers, but the artificial flowers are just so much more vibrant, the colors. And all I did was add gold leaf paper to it. And I've made both of these for my sister. I'm going to send these to her in Texas. I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri. And these were just leaves. All I did was just add green leaves. This is it. What do you guys think of this? This is what the bottom looks like. And, it, you know, it comes in two parts. So this is the actual mold. And so this is the bottle portion. And then this is the top where this is, you know, for the, uh, you know, to make the top, the pump portion of it. And so you pour it in two sections. And then all I did was just add at the top, which is, you know, you pour, you know, the resin in this. And then once both of them are completely cured, I just added glue around it. And then just let it seal for 24 hours. And then... Um, it already comes with these little pump attachments and all you do is just screw it on and there you go. And I got these molds from Amazon so I really hope you guys like this video. This is it. Please thumbs up this video after you are done watching it. Let me know what you think. Leave comments. And I really hope you guys like what you see. Isn't this gorgeous? I think this green one is my favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? So please thumbs up my video. Let me know what you think. And guys, thanks as always for tuning in to Rose J Creates. And I know I always say this on every video, but I think these are probably my favorite videos. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to uh, show you guys a new project that I am going to be working on. This silicone mold that I am using, I am going to make this into a moisturizing slash lotion jar. And I've ordered this offline. I've gotten this from Amazon. And it's pretty big. It's a nice size. And you can use this as a regular jar and put like makeup brushes in it. But I am going to turn it into something to store my lotions in. And so I just wanted you to see it. And this will be the lid that I will attach to it once it's set up. I decided, I didn't know what I wanted to do with this. I didn't know what colors I wanted to use. I had some leftover leaves when I did my... Uh, flower um, paperweight and these were the leaves that were attached to it these were these are artificial leaves but I the reason I wanted to use artificial leaves versus my dried flowers because I have a lot of dried flowers but I like the vibrant colors in these leaves and you know I was like you know what I'll just make them all green and white I'll just make it you know green and white and I like the green in it and then I like these subtle flakes and flecks of gold in it and I thought these would be neat. I thought this would be a neat look for the jar. So I've already poured my, um, prepared my resin. Here it is. I'm gonna add some gold leaf paper, like I said. Get my green. I'm just gonna add a little bit of gold leaf paper. I'm just gonna mix it up. And while I'm letting that set for a little bit, I am just going to add my leaves. Now, I'm trying to position the camera so you can see it. Now, when I position my leaves, once I pull this out, this is going to be the top and this is the bottom. So when I put my leaves in here, I want my leaves to be facing the top portion. So obviously, I want the shiny side to be on the outside and I'm going to push the leaves down. I'm just going to kind of Put them in here randomly. There we go. And then I'm just going to pour my resin. And hopefully I've mixed enough resin. If not, then I will have to go in and pour some more 
I think I may have to go in and pour some more. Yeah. I thought I mixed enough, but I guess not. Yeah, I definitely need to mix some more from my lid and to top this off. I hear all this stumping in the back room. My neighbors are moving out and they're moving heavy furniture. I live in an apartment and it's very noisy. Okay. So I'm gonna mix some more resin and I will see you back here when I'm done. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna make some more resin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a full 24 hours and this is completely set up. And so I am going to try to unmold this. Now it's fairly deep and it's gonna take some prying to kind of get this out of the mold. So I'm gonna use a little bit of alcohol to kind of help that along. You can use alcohol or figure that polish remover. I'm just gonna use some alcohol to get into the cracks and the crevices. And just make sure it's down on all the sides. And it should come out fairly nice. And see that the hole? See, once you add the alcohol, it just slides right out. You can use, like I said, alcohol or fingernail polish remover. You know what? Let me put some down in there. my gloves off because I don't want this to sort of slip out of my hands but I wanted you guys to see it oh my goodness this is what it looks like what do you guys think the flowers look gorgeous and you can see a lot of the gold leaf paper oh this is nice I'm gonna dry this off some is the top to my drawer. There we go. And so this is the top. And what I'm gonna do is attach a little bit of glue to the top. And then I'll kind of go from there and show you what the rest of it looks like. Okay guys, now that I've unmold my top and it matches the bottom, as you can see with the gold leaf. I didn't put any green leaves or anything in this. I just wanted the green leaves to kind of stay inside the jar and kind of make the jar pop. Isn't that gorgeous? I hate that some of the leaves, you know, when I pushed them in there, they kind of went to the bottom. This was the bottom when I started, and then this was the top. And so when I put them in, this is how it went down. And so when I pushed them in, I didn't realize that they all were kind of at the bottom. So when you flip it over, they're all to one side, but it's fine. It still looks great. And so all I am going to do is attach a little bit of UV resin to my cap. Let me kind of eyeball it first to kind of get an idea. Do I want to do it this way or? Nope, this is the way. So I am just going to put the UV resin on the edge. And I'll attach it to the top. And then I 
I'm going to use my UV light and try to get it to cure. And this will take about 60 seconds, so um, I'll speed up the time so that way you don't have to watch it. But I'm going to let it cure for about 60 seconds. It is, it's on there. I'm gonna add another 60 seconds to it just to ensure that everything is good. But first, but first I got it. Okay, it is completely cured on there. And then this is the spigot that I am going to attach to it. It's the pump, I guess I should say, the pump dispenser. Just gonna take that guard off and then just attach it. And there you have it guys my very first resin lotion jar let me know if you guys have any questions about this video I hope you really like this video make sure you thumbs up the video and um, leave comments um, I love to hear your comments and I love to hear your feedback in the meantime thank you for tuning in to Rose Secrets thank you